Hi, this is Jeff Mistretta of the Mistretta Group here at Exit Realty Achieve on Long Island, New York. Welcome to my video blog. Today we'll be discussing not allowing rising rents to trap you. But first, I'd like to draw your attention to two links on my blog. First, if you're thinking of purchasing a home, please click here to search all the available homes in the MLS. Second, if you're thinking of selling your home, please click here. Thank you so much. Now back to our topic. So what exactly is it that I mean when I say don't let rising rents trap you? Basically what I'm discussing is when you purchase a home and you have a fixed rate, your mortgage payment stays the same. 30 years sounds like a long time and certainly does sound scary, but think about what the cost of living is going to be 30 years from now. Do you know that the average landlord in their lease raises the, more, the uh, rental payment 3% per year? So it may not seem a lot as you're going through the motions and you're living in a property, but let me add a couple facts to that. Most renters stay at one location for no more average of two years. Now, when you're moving yourself around and landlords are selling their properties, and unfortunately there are times you're forced out, forced to move, move your family, uh, which in itself is, is aggravating and, and costs money. But besides that, usually when you get into a new lease, those landlords that you're moving into are not adhering to your old rental prices. 2008, 2009, we had a shortage of rentals here on Long Island. And I had noticed that prices for rent from those time frames have gone up sometime, in some places 25 to 30%. I'll give you an example. Uh, a friend of mine has a two bedroom rental that in 2006, they were renting for $1,250 a month. Now, just you know, maybe 10 years later, which I know sounds like a long period of time, but it's certainly not, they're getting over $2,000 a month for that same exact rental. It's a 70, almost a 75% increase. So where when you buy a home, your mortgage payment never ever increases, you're safe. Besides all the other aspects, you know, landlord not selling the property, no one evicting you, no one asking you to move, uh, if something changes in your life, it may change the landlord's life. There's none of those concerns or issues. So if you were able to calculate the expense of a mortgage versus increase in rent, paying the rent over a period of 30 years, a lot of people would find that they'd be able to purchase two homes in that 30 year period of renting, which is unbelievable. The other huge negative effect is at the end of the 30 years of renting, you have nothing. You have nothing. And not only do you have nothing, you have no equity, no investment, nothing building, nothing growing for you, your family, and your future. But now you're older, no offense, and you have to possibly move again. And how old is it that you're going to be where you're going to keep on moving and keep on moving when a landlord wants to sell a property? So if you have been thinking about buying a home, reach out to me. Let's sit down and discuss the other benefits because there's about a dozen of them that I'd really like to share with you. And let me shed some light on it. It's my expertise, and I'd like to share that with anybody I possibly can. So feel free to contact me anytime at 631-484-0133. I hope you enjoy my videos, and I hope you return to the blog and check out new stuff every week. Thanks so much. Take care.